Live on MLB Network, this is Game 3 of the League Championship Series. It's Game 3 of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. You know, I think the phrase must win is overused in sports. But even though this isn't an elimination game, it does sort of feel like a must win. Doesn't matter what sport you're talking about. If you go down 3-0 in any series, you're fighting nearly an impossible uphill battle. Feels like the series kind of rides on this game right here. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. John Lester will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last one to pick up a W in his last start when he got into the seventh inning. Let's see if he can make that two good, strong outings of seven-plus innings back-to-back. One now to Mookie. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Now the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Half. Esteron straight back, but he has it for the first out. Batting second. The football. For you. Eagle. misses and we're even at two and two so let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one behind the plate is Kenny Jansen hey the book on Kenny Jansen D road not a very big zone but he will give you that low pitch below the knees Yeah, and he's consistent you're okay with that as an offensive player he wants to give that pitch below the knees if this pitcher can execute consistently you better make the adjustment and Hayward will put this one away for out number two that is third the first baseman Matt Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Dodgers down in order. And now it will be the Cubs turn in a scoreless ball game. Walker Bueller gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's Chris Bryant now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. the one and one pitch boy good cutting action to that pitch is that's the first out of the inning that swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on it's really not the best two strike approach either In now, Anthony Rizzo. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. The one two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The two two. Helpful. Kyle Schwarber would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three two pitch. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And next it'll be the left handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. And there's ball two now. Throw over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Now the 2-1. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Into the bleachers and gone. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. His first homer here in the series, and they've taken a one run lead. A 
Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Standing in now, A.J. Pollard. Line shot to first, and there's one away. That is good. The left fielder, P.K. Hernandez. Striding into the box, Kike Hernandez. Dodgers have the early 1-0 advantage as we play the second. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. This inning didn't get started the way he hoped with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box now, Justin Turner. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Popped him up. Rizzo has a play. And the inning is over. But the Dodgers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1-0 L.A. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Wilson Contreras. A strike to Contreras, and it's one and one. Hard ground ball to third. Turner has it. And there's one down now. Batting fifth. The right field. Jake Day. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. The 3-1. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Fouled away. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Now it'll be the Cubs' DH, Cameron Maben, for his career in this matchup. He's two for three. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hayward, base runner at first with one out. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To second for one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. New inning set to get underway, and now it will be the catcher, Will Smith. The 2-2. Two -two. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. 
Coming to the plate now, Gavin Lux. Number nine. Ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the American League Championship Series because they've got a good matchup going on over there as well. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three go the Dodgers. But they're on top one to nothing. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Happ with a two and one count now. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. So in now for Chicago, Jason Kipnis. He'll get to take his first cuts here. A runner at first with no outs here. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Line drive, base hit to right. Go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next to the car, the third baseman. At the plate, Chris Bryant. One there on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. Now with the plate, Anthony Rizzo, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The two one home. Ball even at two and two. The 
working for the punch out and the offering sent on the ground out to second he's got it and the throw goes to first for the out but that would be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at one and one good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run this one has the makings of being a close game until the very end Up. Javier Baez, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Two out here and a runner at second. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Here's the 2-1. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Kyle Schwarber would be next. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Count still full, three and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The payoff pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Game three moves forward to the fourth inning now. All tied at one and one. Here's Corey Seager. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. One ball. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Line towards center field. Half is there, and he has it for the first out. Good contact to start out Not the bad. inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Two balls and a strike now. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to bite and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. At the plate now, Cody Bellinger hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another one two delivery. <laughs> and struck him out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the center fielder, A.J. Pollock. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. This is in the air out to right field. 
Hayward has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Dodgers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one to one. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago. Back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. The 1-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So now to the plate, Wilson Contreras. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. The right field. Great bag. Hey, what? To the plate now, Jason Hayward. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Misses ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Cameron Maben would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Squared that one up just a little late. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Wow. Cubs are down in order. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, a Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning, and that means the plug-and-play utility man Kike Hernandez will bat next. The one-two. Hard hit ball to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the base is empty here with one away, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. One one on its way from Lester, and he misses two and one. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Hit the other way out toward right field. 
Hayward giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now Ready now. Will Smith. Goal for one after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. To short. There's Baez. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and striding forward the designated hitter, Cameron Maben. One one home. Ball that time. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. So digging in now, Ian Happ. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Stepping in, Jason Kipnis. He singled his last time up. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now that the third baseman. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP, I mean, get in line. Bryant looking at a three and one count. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. Here's one hit softly down the line in left. Foul. The three, two, one more time. And it's fouled away. the belt kicks and deals swing and there it goes he got all of that ball and it's gone into the bleachers Chris Bryant plates a pair with a home run his first homer so far in the series and with it the Cubs have taken a three to one lead
I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got, a really bad result. In now, Anthony Rizzo. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Two for the Cubs in the inning on the strength of this two run home run. Through five innings, it's now three to one Chicago. Half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Ready once again, Corey Seager. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he fouls this one off. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like he would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. And that last pitch was number 74 for Lester in this one. High in the air down the right field line. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They still trail it here, three to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Little too much bite on the slider that time taken outside. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Now here's the Dodgers skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Alex Wood enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Alex Wood.
Wilson Contreras will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Three runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Fly ball out toward left center field. Bellinger's on his horse. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now that Here's Jason right Hayward here. now. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Wood has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty D, they'd love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Fouled off. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Cameron Maben would be next. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. One left for the Cubs, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the left handed hitter, Max Muncy. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And that's taken for a cold strike, too. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The one-two. There's a fastball that misses. Still two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Pulled toward right center field. Half is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now that Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. That's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Now to the plate is the Dodgers' designated hitter, A.J. Pollock. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And a bouncing ball, foul. So two balls and two strikes now. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Hayward. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that means the plug-and-play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, And that one ends the inning. One left for L.A. Score holds. It's three to one.
first half of the seventh here. And digging in is the veteran D.H. Cameron Maben. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Hit softly down the line at first. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two and two. Now here it comes. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Into the bleachers and out of here. You know, Debo, you're not afforded as many mistakes when you're not throwing that ball in the 90s or above. And this guy needs to be real fine with this location. You know, Dan, that's just a great swing by that hitter right there. Because when you see low velocity, the guy out on the mound that's not going to blow the heater by you, maybe sometimes you expand the zone. Not the case right there. He set him up. He wanted something over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Ready for another Kipnis. shot now. Jason Kipnis. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. The and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Rip down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box, Chris Bryant hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes, and that's exactly what happened right there. Anthony. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Cubs tack on another courtesy of this solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 4-1 to one Chicago. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Half slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Two strikes. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The one two still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going hit on the ground to third and a base hit into left field so they've got themselves a one out base runner you don't see that too often you starting to get in swing mode and you start fouling off multiple pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag if they'll throw it Nice job by the offensive player to get himself a base hit. To the plate now. Gavin Lux fouled away. The 
2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Mookie Betts. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. A runner on first with two away. And it's fouled away. He's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Now with the plate, Javier Baez, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The 1-1 home. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. No hits to this point. One out, nobody on. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Well, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. At the plate now, Wilson Contreras. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The 2 2. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Scooped up. Throw in time at first for out number two. So a runner at second. Two down now. And that will bring up the multi gold glover, Jason Hayward. Two out here and a runner at second. And he fouls this one off. The ball and two strikes. Here it is. Oh, that's out. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Full count now, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Jake McGee enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Jake McGee. Cameron Maven will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. 
Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. McGee's ready. Here it is. Now a ground ball to Seeger at short. He's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cubs strand a couple as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Andrew Chafin comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. Lead things off here in the ninth with his guys in danger of falling into a very difficult to escape 3-0 deficit. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Chafin has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. One and two, here it comes. slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. The Cubs are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Standing in now, Max Muncy yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Misses ball two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Pitch on the way. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 1-1. That's Bolton. Barring any late turnaround, the win would belong to John Lester. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Striding forward now is the DH. AJ Pollard. He flew out in his last at bat. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team.
one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, the Cubs were given an excellent outing on the mound here by this man, John Lester. Can't ask for much more. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he ended up handing things off to his bullpen buddies in the ninth, but still eight strong innings from him really showed a lot in this one. Four to one finish in this evening's game. Chicago take a commanding 3-0 series lead. John Lester is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap for us here tonight for my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Four runs, seven hits, no error, but they left seven men on base.